Hey everybody. This is April. Vintage. I'm here tonight with Barb and Cindy, and we're gonna open some jewelry jars and look at some jewelry and talk and laugh and whatever. And yes, I look a little goofy tonight because I got a warm little onesie thing because I'm dressed like a care bear. So I thought it'd be too fun to wear it since you know my name's Bushy Bear. So I'm going to let Barb and Cindy introduce themselves and say hey to everybody. I see that we do have 15 watching. And I see Dez. Hey, Dez. Mike. I see Angie. We got Kathleen. Sandra. Dwayne's here. Hey, Carla. We got Jennifer. Sherry. Mary. We got Forever Lose On. Which is Tara. Tara. Yeah. And Susan Gill just joined us too. Hey, Susan. You like my hair, Mary. <laughs> Did I miss somebody? You say Peaches? Dan Wanda. Hey, Susan. I said, hey, Susan Gill. I said, hi. Oh. To All right. So you can go ahead and Rainbow. say hello to everybody. Julie Dros, where have you been? Go ahead, Cindy. You're, oh, you're am I presenting? Duh. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I said, hey, Julie Dros, where have you been? I haven't seen you in forever, my friend. Oh, hey, guys. I hope you all caught the show this afternoon. We had a lot of fun with my special guest on my Love and Jewelry show, and it was all of the viewers. So if you catch it on replay, go in and leave a comment and answer some of the questions we asked so we can get to le learn to know you better too. So anyway, so hi y'all. <laughs> all right. And Barb. Okay. So I am going to rumpy Barb. Everybody knows me. Um, hi everybody. We're just going to sit back and chit chat. I'm going to go ahead and put up the link to um, Cindy's channel in the chat and also mine. And if uh, you're new, you need to subscribe to us. Also, sub to, of course, April. Leave a comment and don't forget to hit the like button. Thumbs up, I mean. And make sure you hit the little bell so you get notification when any of you go live. And that's it. I want to see some jewelry, please. All right. All right, then. So I've got two jars left out of five jars that I bought the other day. So I'll end up opening those up. I'm going to take this thing off my head. I really can't hear too well when that. <laughs> Let's see. And I didn't take it through again. Didn't bring nothing to put the jewelry in. Let's see. Hey, I know what. I'm going to show these pieces. I've been getting more Christmas cards. And I wanted to say thank you to the people that had sent me some cards and stuff again that I didn't have last time. I also have a book to share tonight um, that I got from a thrift store recently. And I think it's a useful book. And then a couple of pieces that came out of those other jars that, um, that I opened. This one came from Cindy, Jewelry Nurse. And if you're not subscribed to her, go check out her channel. It was a Christmas card, so I don't know if Cindy's here, but thank you, Cindy. If you watch this later, I appreciate your sweet Christmas card. And I think she did also, she might have sent some jewelry with it. I might have it laying over here somewhere. Um, this one come from Cece. So I got a card from Cece. So thank you, Cece, if you're watching. Let's see. This one. Oh, this one's from you, Cindy. And got your new card. That was cute. And that was my card. And one more. This one, I think, came today. Oh, no, this one was from Faye. That's right. And Faye sent me a card. If she's in there, thank you, Faye. But she also got me a handbag it's really pretty i didn't have one like this now the handle i'm gonna have to fix the handle there it goes down inside those little prongs i'm gonna have to fix that part but it is it's it's beaded 
and um, like embroidered or whatever. Is it all beads? Yeah, it's like there's a whole beaded strap and then it's beaded all over here too. You can oh, see wow. that. And then it's also like embroidered there. That is beautiful. It is beautiful. That was so sweet of her. Um, but yeah, I got that. Oh yeah, and then I know Julie Drosy sent me one. Did I show that one already? If I didn't, thank you, Julie, for my card. Hey, Doc, Miss Darlene. So that's those. And you know, we had the auction with um, with uh, Patty Fab. So my stuff from her came in, and I wanted to show how cool this stuff was. And I had ordered some stuff from her before the auction as well. So some of this stuff y'all have never seen. So I got this because I thought it was cool. I did not know what it was exactly. I figured it could be some type of whistle, and that's what it is. It's a mariner's whistle. And I don't know if it's a replica one yet or if it's an actual vintage one but it's like made out of brass and copper and you can blow it and they would signal on the ships and stuff using this i'm thinking the chain may be newer mm -hmm. right yeah it could be i saw some that were labeled as replicas so this could be a replica instead of an actual vintage one some of them that were military issued, I guess they had emblems on the side of them too. So this one could be one of the replicas, but I still think it's cool. That's interesting. And they're, all, they're not rare to find. Basically. I've never yeah. seen one. Cindy, have you seen one? I've never seen anything like that at all, ever. Yeah, yeah um, that's a Mariner's whistle. They're on eBay. I found some on eBay, and I think some people were selling some on Etsy as well. Hey, this John. One, I liked the, uh, I got this from Patty Feb as well. I liked the piece there and I, I kind of feel like the chain is not original to this part, but it's not marked or anything. I just really liked the design of oh, that. And it seems to be maybe like Peter. I remember that. I love that thing. Let's <laughs> pretty slide cool. it down so we can see the chain. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like one of those costume type chains that you would see, like you'd normally see the longer ones like that. I agree with you. I don't think the chain is original to the piece. Yeah, I don't think it is either. either. So I think this might actually be older than the chain itself. Is the is the pendant sterling? Because it almost no. tarnished. Yeah, it's I think it's pewter. I feel like okay. it's like maybe pewter or something. I would test it anyway. Okay. I'll do that. So that's some of it. And then I got this red coral necklace from her. It's three strands of red coral. That's pretty. And it has that kind of clasp, which I see those on like native necklaces. And then it's got these instead of the more cone shaped ones. These feel very thin. I don't know if they're. I don't think they're silver, real silver, but I really do believe that that's real natural coral. That's it anyway, because I had some of those stone necklaces that the top is not silver. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is stone, and it is native, and but it's just not silver. Right, right. Uh, uh, you said something there that made me think. You said it's natural coral, but isn't coral dyed anyway? Because I have a piece of coral that's white that is from the sea. That is, it's just all white. I'll have to bring it in here and show it. You have different types of coral. This would be the red coral. And a lot of times with red coral, they'll try to dye it to give it that deep red color. But the other pieces that I've seen, this kind of almost looks like the color of blood. And so this looks more natural to me. But then you have like angel skin, which is that pink, that little powdery pink. Yeah, pink peach almost. Yeah. That's jewelry nurse. Hey, jewelry nurse. Jewelry nurse. So yeah, I, I have a feeling that that has not been dyed. I think that that's natural. Well, if it's natural, then you know it can be harvested anymore anyway because they are protected. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So it makes it a lot more expensive. And then I, I got a crown brooch from her as well with the Aurora Borealis. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay. And it's on a gold tone. It's not signed anything. Every time I see a crown brooch, I think about I'm done. I just can't help it. If it's a crown and if it's a brooch, it's done. <laughs> and this came from Jewelry Nurse with the with the earrings that I had won from her on on a little quiz thing that she had done on her video. So she sent this ring with it. Well, that's that's just, um, I think those are just rhinestones and it's it's not sterling. It's not marked for sterling, but it's also not magnetic either. So Hi, Dwayne. I'm not yes, sure. I'm wearing a giant blue ones, yes. I am wearing a care bear ones, Dwayne. That's what I'm wearing. I'm a I'm a bear tonight. <laughs> and this is a Anne Klein that I had gotten from her. Actually, this one was in the auction and nobody else seemed interested. So I got it and I thought it was really nice. It has that satin finish to it. And these two here. This one is real cool. It looks like inlaid blue stone and it kind of has like that look like cloisonne does like there's metal going around it inside these beads they're very heavy but i have absolutely no idea of the origin of this so no uh april you should send your blue grumpy bear uh hoodie thing to barb <laughs> right <laughs> i should I send her this one i'll go get another care bear color this so, is the only care bear they had though at target so that uh oh what it, my mind just mm -hmm. left what's his name just asked if that wasn't is aren't you grumpy bear so. yeah i'm grumpy bear <laughs> <laughs> my mind just went blank on what his name was my favorite one was bedtime bear, which he's blue as well, but he's got the he's got the moon and the star on his stomach. That was the one that was my favorite when I was a little girl. I am not updated with Care Bears. <laughs> so this one is like has a carved pattern. This is the agate necklace that I got from her auction. That's pretty. That's pretty. And that's yeah. Patty Feb. Mm-hmm. You know what? Are we okay? I was looking to make sure the video is locked on you because on our chat it's jumping between us. So. Yeah, I have the bracelet that I got from her here. And I'm thinking about sending this to you, Cindy. She okay. like cameos. Ooh, I do now, like that. I think that. it's a resin. I think that's what it is. I think it's a resin, but it's really cute, really pretty. And it is sterling. It's Mark 925 on the bail back yep. there. You know me, I do not refuse a cameo. So <laughs> that might come to you with the other things that I was going to send. Um, also, this one I believe to be like nickel silver. I don't think it's sterling, but this is like a Mexican piece, even though it's not marked. The reason I can tell is because every time you find a Mexican piece, that's the style of box clasp that they use on their huh. pieces. It looks like this all the time. And so I you've got these little hammered them. balls, but you also see these in like Native American jewelry too, these balls. From that book that I'm going to show you, I was reading that they would take Mexican coins and hammer them out. And that's how they would make these beads in the Native American jewelry was from Mexican coins. So that's that. And what else did I get from her? Oh, I've been buying coin jewelry from people. So when she showed me this one, I told her I wanted it. So I've been trying to figure it out. It's um, It says Red Lion, USA, Bicentennial, 1776 to 1976. So I know this is 1976. And then it does say United States of America and stuff. I don't know what the red lion is. So if anybody does know that. I'm you know, just saying on your face, not on the point. 
I don't know. And it looks like this on that side. It's brass. Let's see, red light coin. Yeah, I looked up what I could and I didn't really, I didn't see one that looked like that at all. And what else came from her? Oh, this one. This one I was super excited about. It had a little verdigris, so I had to soak it in some vinegar. But this is one of those um, necklaces I was talking about recently. Now the word's going to, of course, escape my mind. But uh, it's vintage <laughs> for sure. And there's the clasp. It's got like a citrine colored stone there and some crystal that's really cool. And it's lost some enameling around here too because these had enamel like the flower does. But these are called uh, let me look at my eBay because I've been looking them up a lot and I'll, it'll tell me the name of them. I hate when my mind goes blank like that. So they can uh, um, they somebody messaged me and told me that our screen is presenting with you as the main one and then you they can see us in the bottom of it too so that's how we yeah. always want to get it but we don't know how how so the difference that, the I'm difference gonna... is i figured out that if i click on my box it'll present me without taking y'all away but if oh. i hit the present button to present me then y'all disappear okay this is that piece of coral i was talking about that i have I right. release her so that I can see the girl. Yeah, so. I, I flipped it over to her. Like I'm yep. confused. That's so neat. That's what natural coral. I mean, it it's um. We had a missionary bring it to us. It's cool. So, anyway. mm -hmm. Yeah, and there are different types, so they're different colors. Now I know, like. When it's alive, it's more vibrantly colored than it is when it's dead. I know that. It loses its color. No, really. <laughs> but yeah, they pretty, come different species is different colors. I'm pretty sure this is dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, Let's my see. gosh. What's what? people saying in the chat? I have a bracelet soaking in ketchup right now. Yep. Yeah, I did leave a little bit of darkening on the chain. That's what I'm trying to find, though. Why can't I remember the name? Anybody can remember the name of this style necklace? I would appreciate it because my mind Which just went blank. This one. <clears throat> it's not chandelier. No, it's not. No, chandelier. I know, and that's what wants to come to my mind. Right? It's it's not chandelier. That one, that wants to come to my mind right away, but not is it a bib necklace mm -mm. it's got a specific name festoon oh festoon necklace that's what i was trying to come up with there we go <laughs> so this one's pretty old i don't know exactly what time period but it's pretty old that's amazing and i don't know if they have adapters for box clasps, you know, for an extender to go on, but I want to keep this and wear this. Oh. I can, but I'm going to take the dark chain there and try some of that gold uh, pin and, on it. Yeah. Think one of the things that I have found with um, treating verdigris on uh, using vinegar versus ketchup, when I use the ketchup, on the verdigris that I had, I didn't get as much leftover dark as I do when I use the vinegar. So I'm wondering if the acid in the tomatoes helps some too. So, see, okay. you know, so I had verdigris in this, and see, ketchup is thick enough. I was afraid I would damage these these faux pearl things. So the ketchup was thick enough for me to take a a, a thing Q -tip. here. Yeah, that. A Q-tip and go down in here, but I had a little bit of darkening, but not near what I I have found that I get with the vinegar. So, right. Yeah, I know you can't put the faux pearls in the vinegar because it will eat the coating off. That's happened yeah. to me when I first tried it, <laughs> and I was like, "Oops." Yeah. <laughs> so those are all the pieces. 
from Patty Feb. So if y'all ordered your, you know, if you were at her auction and you did buy from her, expect some great stuff because she really did have some nice. Yeah, stuff. I got the two pieces from her. You want to show what you got, Barb? Yeah, I only have two, and then I came to the realization this thing is huge. Oh yes, it's beautiful. I did not realize how. Look at it. That's awesome. <laughs> that is that is so awesome. Well, and we think that that's what in the inside, maybe jasper or something, or no, no. But I didn't realize how big I'm. Hey, if you decide to sell it, let me know because I have a a necklace and a pair of earrings that'll match it. Oh and really? Like, uh huh. In my personal collection, yep, yeah, I sure do. So yes, that's a beautiful piece. Yes. And of course, that's Mexican got, sterling. Yeah, and I got this little, and then it's yeah. a Maltese cross, isn't it? Yeah, it says uh, Jerusalem in the back. So I had to. Is that a it. tiny pearl <laughs> in the center? Hmm? Is that a little pearl in the middle? No. Oh, yes, that's nice too. You can read Hebrew, can't you? Yes, I can. I got a I got a ring. I need to take a picture of and send you the picture. You can't. I got a ring. It's called Song of Solomon, and it Let has. A, is that by um, James Avery? Yes, it is. <laughs> but it, is. But it has been sized. And so it's very, and you know, they don't size James Avery. No. Uh, James Avery supposed to. Somebody sized this ring and they didn't do a good job on it. So, but I still love the ring. So, do you want me to show you what I got from Patty Feb too, April? Sure, absolutely. Okay. And uh, Carlo um, said also, what other languages do you speak, Barb? And I know that. Uh, Cindy Jewelry Nurse said, um, be careful about leaving the gold tone um, in the vinegar for too long because you can lose some of the uh, color of the chain. Right. Okay. I got this little. Uh, what said, that's it. What do you say? This little well, ring. Speaks fluent sarcasm. <laughs> well, I, I, I speak fluent SA. <laughs> And you can uh, interpret that however you wish. So, anyway, this one here, it's a, that little black stone, and it's got, they're not stones around it. It's just how the metal's cut to look like a stone. So, is that one marked Mexico or anything? Uh, it is sterling. I haven't looked at what all it's marked, but I do know it's sterling. I did test it. And yes, then, I speak, I speak Hungarian. Hungarian. Cool. I didn't know. I know that I really know three of them, so. And then I got this set that is this vintage uh, brooch. Ooh, pretty. Yes, those are beautiful. Okay, let me hold it this way because it's got these little green ones down here and then that color. Ooh, that one's loose. I need to tighten up the prongs on that. Anyway, and that. Were those signed at all? No, not signed. But they're really nice quality. That's yeah, pretty. they are. They need, okay. I need to take a Q-tip into the back and clean out the back of that one stone. They're not full backed, so you can see the dust and stuff in these big ones. But mm -hmm. I, I need to clean them out. But uh, uh, use a toothbrush, and I get up in there. Yeah, uh, I like the so, deep cognac color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? So it's very anyway, I'm probably gonna. Uh, I have an opportunity. I'm waiting on the lady to call me back to. To go into another venue for uh, my vintage stuff, and so it'll probably go into the vintage booth if I get get in. So, no, oh, anyway. yeah. So I'm going back to April. There you go. <laughs> I, I didn't realize I had a couple more pieces I didn't show. Nobody bid on this either, and it was a sterling um, sterling bracelet with the like skeleton keys, different types. Oh, that's. I got that one too, which I'll probably keep that with my bracelets because I do like layering, you know, small sterling bracelets. And this one, let me check it. Okay. Uh, April, that ring does say Mexico inside it. So it looked like it would be mm -hmm, from the style. This one's not marked that I can see, 
but it isn't magnetic, but it's like faceted. This one's older too. Faceted crystals like that, kind of like an illusion setting. I like that. The way it's set. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty. Uh, princessy. Mm-hmm. Snow queen. This one I would need a, an extender as well. It's It's small. But I think I'll sell this one after I figure out the value. I have no idea. <laughs> but it has the uh, spring ring on it. So we know it's a little bit vintage. I don't know how vintage. We pulled like that through just a little bit. Well, like Everything from her. And I did buy from um, Barbie Crafts. And I got a pair of Sarah Coventry earrings that are clip on. They're enameled. That's a pretty color. Yeah, it's like a peach, and then it has the green, like little leaves back there. Ooh, those are pretty. <laughs> those are definitely vintage too. Oh yeah, Sarah Coventry on those. And uh, well, duh, Cindy. <laughs> and then she gave me just this men's band ring in a size ten, there, with it as a free gift. And then I bought the Sacagawea coin pendant from her. Now, I don't know if that's an actual coin. The texture and the color of it, I know when they came out with those um, in 2011, when they did those, uh, they were in gold, like gold plated or something, collector coins. This one has like a gold satiny finish on it. And then it has that setting that it's in. So I'm not sure if that's an actual coin or just. just yeah. it Guys, hey. don't forget to hit the thumbs up. You are 36 watchers and only 23. Do you have the same one? What did you find out about it then? Have you looked it up? Uh, I've not looked it up. What's on the back of yours? It looks like the coin does. It has the eagle. No, mine on the back of mine, mine has a. Uh, uh, a, a, has two Indians standing, but I have another one too. I have I have another one that's a Sajawicha. <laughs> Sajawicha. <laughs> this is Sajawicha. However you say it. This one here says 2014. I just poked the far out of myself. I was digging in that box. I have a, obviously a brooch in there. Right. Know where it is. So then that's, that's from Barbie Crafts. And like then if you look behind us, we all have these stackable things all over the place. If I was in my work room, yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm in the it's dining like, room. Right the there. comment, the comment reseller decor is to have the plastic see-through things all over the place. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now, so now, I can uh, just start the collection. Let's see. You've got 2000. What yours is 2007? Is that what? 2011. Okay, I had this one that's 2014. And Hi, Jane. One, Merry Christmas to you as well. It's 2017, and it's on a card. Oh, cool. Ah, so they and probably one, did come like that. This one comes from the Northern Plains Reservation Aid. Hmm. Oh. So, well, I know they're okay. actual coin coins because I remember when they came out with them. You know, like I, I said, I used to work retail all the time, and people would come into the store and actually use them like a dollar to pay for stuff. So I, I actually, I used to have one stashed away somewhere, but I think when my collect, my I had my collection of uh, vintage coins and stuff stolen from me at one point, so I think it got stolen when that did. <sighs> but um. Let's see. I was going to show from CC. I had bought some uh, gold jewelry from her that matched with some of the other stuff I had gotten from her. So this is a tritone 10 karat gold uh, basket that says mom on it. It's a pendant. And then I got the locket that ha has engraving and it's in the tritone colors. This has that green and that pink when we were talking about um, menu bar. We were talking about the um, something mountain. What is it called? That gold, gold heels or something like that. Remember? 
Black Hills Gold. Black Hills. Yeah, it has the colors like the Black Hills Gold does. This one's a 14 karat. That's pretty. I like it. And then this one is Mylar Italy, and it's 14 karat gold. Ooh, that is pretty. I like it too. It's mm -hmm. different golds, isn't it? Is it the rose gold and yeah, it has like a gray actually, and then a lighter silver tone, rose gold, and then different shades of yellow gold, and then it has rose gold as well, and then it has like a brassy, coppery kind of gold. It's just many shades, and it's diamond cut for accents. Many shades of gold. It's very nice. There we go. And it fits me so I can actually wear it. So I don't have a whole lot of actual gold in yellow gold. So I'm building up my my yellow gold collection. It's 50 shades of gold. <laughs> right? 50 shades of gold. <laughs> okay, so I need help with this piece. Okay. Let's but see. This um, um we got a Christmas tree, maybe? Or is no, no, it's one of those um spoon thingy. I know. Oh yeah, it does look like it's made out of flatware. Yeah. What is this for? Is this for glasses? No, I think that's a money clip. Yeah, I think so that, a thing. Yeah, but I have a money clip somewhere that also has that. It catches the money to keep it from coming out. But it may actually be wait a minute, maybe yeah. that slides down on a belt. And then you can also, okay, so if you slid that down on your belt, and then you had that little loop there, maybe you could around. make something from it. Do you think that'd be for Kathleen? She's holding it upside down. Yeah, turn it up the other way. And then you see how you got that, like a belt, like a money clip? Maybe if you slid it down on your belt, and you had that little thing, I think maybe that's for a Kathleen. Yeah. So that might be really old, like Victorian. Well, what? Or before. Uh, it's hard for me to pronounce, but Chatelaine, it's the thing back, if you watch those old movies where the woman of the house had all those keys dangling from her side and she had the yeah, little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that thing. I think it might be for that. Mm. Have you tested it for sterling? Sterling, but there's no marking. It is, but no markings? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's old and it's probably European. Cool. And it's not focusing, is it? Um, I can see it pretty well, but it's not clearly focused. But it does have that look like flatware. And then Jewelry Nurse said looks like a pendant to her. And uh, then Ka Carla said looks like a dress clip. Okay, so we still don't know what it is and that's it. <laughs> Okay, fashion reclaim wins the prize. Dip them and go. Uh -huh. Right. What, what, what? What did we miss? <sighs> there we go. Yeah, I think that could be a start. You look up that word and uh, Barbara, Barbara typed it out, um, the word I was pronouncing. And you yeah. could type, you could look that word up, Barb, if you want to write that down. You guys see all the damage that I said to your fingers, guys, wear gloves. Mine's about to get that way because I got jewelry jars. No, look, look. <laughs> yeah. I got yellow on mine too, Barb. Yeah, it's terrible. I'm like, oh, I'm going to put on gloves. Okay, just one quick. And then I don't think about it. Carla says, does it open at all? I don't think it does, though, does it? That's no. Yeah, I think that slides down on your belt and then you clip your little hook with all your that chain. I have the chain and I have the little coin purse. I've been collecting little parts to for those things. I don't have the clip like that, so, so what maybe you can that? maybe you can make me an offer on it. <laughs> what would you call that? What would you call that? That's what it's called. It's sp spelled C H A T. E L A I N E. Babsy has it topped out there in the chat, Barb. Mm -hmm. I spelled it wrong. I spelled Chatterlane. <laughs> yeah, okay. as long as you weren't trying to spell Uncle Julius. <laughs> hey, Somebody I said it better than Sagajuia. Yeah, 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 Sagaj
I can, you know. for nothing. I can say it right. I just don't want to. Right. It's okay. Like, how do you <laughs> say Worcestershire? Worcestershire. 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 Say it. Is, everybody says it differently. Mm. So I say Worcestershire. Now, if you listen to people down here, they say Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah. yeah, we want some Worcestershire sauce. That's what we want in Arkansas, too. <laughs> yeah. No, well, we just want to have wrong too. But here's the thing is what's the shire is shire. Oh, I don't know. I didn't show the pieces that came out of those other jars. This one is um what did I say it was, Sandy? Uh adventuring. Yes, adventuring, and it's a butterfly <laughs> and beads and it's carved out of adventuring. So that was my I was excited about that piece. That's gonna stay with me. There you go, Susan Gill, whiskey beer sauce. Uh, on the Simpsons, Homer said, Show me the Sacagaweas. <laughs> and then these oh. are here too. Leo said, I go in camp. Summer yeah. time, and you would be used to make like you know, cheese and beady oh. Is that the one that has silver beads in it, isn't it, April? Which one? That that A B bracelet you just showed. Oh yeah, that's the no, that's the one that I don't let me see if it's magnetic at all. The spring ring picks up. I think the wire is silver, but the, you know, of course the spring ring uh picks up. So I think it is on silver. But yeah, it was a bracelet that I found in there too. And then I found this one unsigned, but I liked it. I think it's 80s. There's the closure. Oh, you fixed it. Yeah, it was just like one link there that just needed to be closed. It had just come loose. Cool beans. And then the native piece that I found with the liquid silver and amber and the little um, dream catcher on there. And then the one with the leather cord and sterling components. And then it had that... What I was telling you looks like it looks like cinnabar initially, but then you look at the back and you see like a wood grain pattern and it looks like it's been dyed and lacquered and carved out of wood. It's pretty. Yeah, it's cute though. I like that. And then I had picked up these little sparkly clip ons. I don't know if that's an original card for them or not. And then that little angel brooch. And let me see what it said. I never did look and see what it said. Look, the girl can never have enough bling. It's all about right. <laughs> It's got the mark. Looks like RR. Mm -hmm. And then the copyright symbol. And the RR is in like one of those, win you know how like in a Catholic church, they have the windows with the point and then it comes down like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's in that kind of shape, but it's like an RR. Hmm. I don't know if I can show it to you. Not, or not. It's not ringing no bell. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it either. <laughs> I got a text uh, my neck. It's like a window, but it's not ringing any bell. So I, now I'm ready, I think, to right. dig it to the jar. At the time of the day. <laughs> Looks like I already see some more Indian beads. All right. It's one of the ones, like I was saying before, I had I have one like this that's got the little Indian girl dangling from it. But oh this one's again. Now, what, I, would I, what would it, like, I'm wondering about the, the resale value of these. Like, I don't know. I've had mine since I was a little girl, like the 80s. But the Cherokee here in the mountains, they make they make these. You can buy these even today, different types. But I didn't see these exact ones when I went up there. But I bought some things when I took the kids up there uh, earlier this year. They still make the beaded jewelry like that. Oof. Susan says it looks like the Vatican's mark. Vatican, the Vatican's mark. Hmm. Marks. 
Mustang symbol. It's on a pendant too. Like it looks like a coin. I'll probably give this to my cousin. He might hang it up in his car or something. He has a Mustang that he rebuilt. They love him and his brother both love Mustangs. See, that would make sense. <laughs> so I'll give that to him. Um, I got a lot of broken stuff in here. It doesn't look really good. Hi, Bianca. Bianca's in bed. Be keeping her up. Hi, Bianca. Oh, sorry. Bianca. This one is Hong Kong, I think. Nope, Japan. Just one of those Japan necklaces, probably from like the 40s. I don't know what to do with those. I don't know what to do with those. People, I mean, I'm sure people will buy them because they are really vintage. Are you, the, are you talking about the beads? Are you talking hmm? with, were they beads? What were they? I missed them. Oh, the pearl necklace? Oh, that say Hong Kong or Japan? Yeah, this one's a Japan one, but I do find some that say Hong Kong. You know, in one of my auctions, I filled a bag of just the those that said Japan and Hong Kong, and I sold it just like that. It sold real quick. I mean, and it went, I, I mean, the bag went up over $15, so. Right. I mean, I would think I that people like that. Like them. Size of bag. So. Mm hmm Okay, do, do, do. let's see what else I got in here. Uh oh, this massive and tangled up necklace. Cherry I didn't expect my... these jars to be great when I grabbed them. I just wanted to dig through some jars, and I do need some, you know, like more jewelry, period, even if it's not fabulous, to do my jewelry jars that I sell on Etsy with. So, how many jars did you pick up? Uh, I did five, but they had some other ones there, but the other ones had more look like, I don't even know what's going on here. I can't figure it out. But they had some that looked like it had a bunch of like kitty beads or something in it. Mm. I didn't like, but I am creating a little girl's jewelry jar too. I'm working on building. You can't stand those when you pick up the jar and all you see is Mardi Gras beads. I'm like, seriously, you guys don't see it. <laughs> This is just the Geneva. Yeah, I know. I, I leave those alone. If they're heavily plastic beads that don't look like old vintage beads, then I don't I don't really fool with them. No, but it amazes me is like you don't see it. Right. <laughs> I mean you're putting it in a jar and then you're labeling the jar at 30 bucks. And you know, and I know it's not worth 30 bucks. Right. This one has swordfish on it. And it's a costume. It's very lightweight. Has that closure. Nothing okay. special, hey. but I feel like it's vintage. Hold on. You know what? what, what? I'm over on the I'm over on the just regular chat, and we're going back and forth, back and forth. Mm -hmm. You need a lock on you, April. You need. Oh, a, okay. I on thought it body. was a Carol. That's Carol, guys. There. Hey, Carol. Oh, I didn't know you weren't in that group, Cherry Berry. So, sorry. They were talking about my video where I done my Secret Santa box. Hi, oh. Ainsley. Hi, Ainsley. Okay. This is a set. This has the matching earrings. That's pretty. I bet it says Japan on it, don't it? Let's see. That's the style you usually find. I don't see it on the earrings, but here's the necklace. Let's look at the hook. Yeah, this hook doesn't have it either, but that's probably where they came from, either Japan or Hong Kong, and same See, time period. You you should be able to sell those on Etsy. Yeah, I do have them like put up to save. I know a lot of people don't understand plastic beads, but then there are some people that do like them. I and know because, uh, of, age, because goodness, of its style. Each goodness, she loves her plastic beads, and I don't get it. <laughs> well, like, I don't get it. Right. She loves beads. I I've actually sold her a bead lot, so uh, that's she loves that reminds me. I have these, and I cannot figure out for the life of me. The tiger's eye, but it's a stretchy. 
but it is a nice piece of tiger jaw. Is it a stone or is it plastic? Yeah, it's actual. Okay, maybe April, you can help me with this. Let's see. So, because it, these have been hanging behind me for like six months, and I don't know what to do with them. So you see these beads? Oh, those are pretty. Yes, they are. Oh, they're inlaid with mother of pearl. And yes. have you tested the red ones for Bakelite? And the, no, they're not tested for Bakelite. And then they are on, on just they on spring. Those are really nice. I like that. Mm hmm They're vintage. I test the red ones for Bakelite they and then they're not the for Oh, okay. They're not. Okay. And yeah, you got inlaid mother of pearl and maybe abalone there on the beard. Yeah, what is that? What time period is that? I have the same thing here. I don't know. What would you think, Cindy? Look, maybe oh. eight? These beads right here, I would think they're probably 60s, maybe 70s beads. They're kind yeah. of odd. You see, it's like it's pretty. It's it's uh, yeah, it's even like mother of pearl and something else. And my initial thought was Art Deco, the period, because it's very structural. But then again, it's not bakelite, so I'm confused. The spring ring didn't happen until. Right? 50s? No. Yes. Yeah, so was it earlier than that? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's very confusing. I and thought the spring are... ring was uh I think the spring wing ring was you see? real early. It was with the old kind, with the one where it just you have to take your finger and pull it back. Okay. But the one with the knob is a little bit later, like that's what she has there, I think. Okay. That's and then the bigger the knob is there, the older it is, too. I think those are from the 60s. That's what I both of them. Uh-oh, I just broke the stretchy ring. Uh -oh. no. Well, that's I okay. Can I can still keep the cool. Very, um, like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I would, I would think 60s. This is like <laughs> Mother of Pearl and, and maybe Turtle Shell. Yeah, that kind of has tortoise shell kind of look to to the i don't know so if anybody knows please leave it in the comments somebody's, somebody's saying 80s no mm -hmm. these are not 80s i don't I'm think they're 80s i grew up in the 80s and i never no, thought no, that yeah, sorry it that. is not 80s a lot of 80s is a lot of plastic too beads yeah i, I would say these beads are not plastic that's the thing that's the mystery because these are not plastic. Right. These are plastic in between. So maybe somebody made these. Mm-hmm. They that could be true too, but they're very nice. I mean, they're they're cool. That's the mystery of the day. <laughs> so let's see. What else we got in here? Oh, that's an earring, a pierced earring. Oh, Let me cool. Look back to myself. That is the one. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, the me, what I'm thinking, go go girls. Yep, exactly. Go <laughs> rain. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what it makes me think of too. Go go. And I don't think that other cat is in here, and this is just hideous. I like <laughs> the S, but look at this nasty thing. It's like it was supposed to look like a pearl, and then it's made out of some. Yeah. It's gross. What's it marked? Mac. What? Maximal. Just remove it. Maximal art is what it says. I've never seen that tag before. Mm -hmm. no. If it's worth yeah. something, just remove that little bead thing. Yeah. And I got a vintage, I got a couple of vintage charm bracelets in here. This one has ballerina, my diary, a little fan, some more ballerinas, slippers, a harmonica. I wonder if it plays. No, but you can blow through it, but don't play. And yeah, it's cool. I like that. A little harmonica. What happened, Cindy? I'm, I was giggling at her, like, blowing through that harmonica. 
<laughs> I wanted to see if it was going to do anything. The fan there's, opened. You know, like that. There's no dust in it now. <laughs> oh, no. No more dust. I wasn't going to put my lips on it, but I blew into it. This is the diary. It opens like that. Well, then it has, oh, it has a... Oh, it has a little spinner thing. It says lie detector. You spin it and it either lands on true or false. Oh, spin it, spin it. Oh, oh it's so tiny. I can't make I can't really make it spin spin, but I can move it. <laughs> so that one's kind of neat. I like that. that Thank you. Cool. What what necklace? Huh? Oh, I guess she's asking your two necklaces. Did you get them together? Oh, if they came in the same, yeah, they came in the same bag. This one has another diary charm. They're asking, is that charm bracelet 925? Oh, no, uh-uh. It's not. Yeah, but the charms individually, you never know. I don't think so, anyway. Let's test it with a magnet. No, no, the, the charms themselves individually, because you never know. Yeah, that's true. I have found bracelets that <laughs> there's so do. many. Let me make the ballerina dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they're not. They're not. <laughs> that's a drunk ballerina. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, what does it say? You are my. I don't think she was on point. Flower? No, she wasn't. She was like sideways dancing. <laughs> you are my sweet. You are my sweet. I don't know. Here's another one though. It's got little hearts. It's got well, the spin. Like phone. Everybody does have a phone, phone, phone at home. And if you dive on, you, you can turn that too. Oh, it moves. That's cool. <laughs> that is yeah, a lot of these are articulated like that and then you just got these puppy hearts that say you are my sweet and then there's some stars too moons oh what's this one no <laughs> it says no it just says no yeah I want that you want that one says no it says no <laughs> well, says here's no. another one but this one, I guess some of the charms aren't on there. They're just, those are seashells. You probably had all shells like that. But some of them are missing. Like that. And then, oh, we got a V tassel necklace. So I can get this unhooked. It's a tassel, but it has a V. B for oh. Vanessa. Hey, Patsy Crossy. These are. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, that's a necklace? The way the closure looks, I thought it was one of those purse chains. Like, Maybe it's a um, belt. It's a belt. Yes. You think that's a belt? It's a belt. Could be. Let's put it in a jewelry jar. Hey, kids, we we made crowns out of uh, dandelions. We'd this slit the stems and slide it through. Water. Oh, yeah. You put pins into what? No, the taking a dandelion, you know, you have the stem and then the head of the thing. And then we would slit, take our fingernails and put a slit in the stem and then slide the other stem through it and make a crown all the way and join it all the oh. way around. Like oh. a dandelion crown. So we used to take and twist things around like that too, Not and put the, the flowers in there. All day, don't come back till it's dark. Get out. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's a peacock. It is. Oh, that's, that's cute. cute. It's is got it some finish wear, but it's still cute. I think Casey would like it. I'll just give it to him since it's got. You know, finish wear and everything. I don't know, like Carol, you calling Carla weird? Like, where's that put you or me? She is <laughs> <alien. It's laughs> We used to take those. Um, uh, we call them poke berries. 
-hmm. and we mash them and like smear them all over us. We do that kind of thing to dye oh, our skin. We have a huge family story about that. My dad's two older half brothers bunch mashed a bunch and put them all over him and then had him run in and tell his daddy he was hurt. Uh huh. To make it look like he was bleeding. <laughs> yeah, my granddad jumped up and he was then when he realized my daddy wasn't hurt, he busted his tail. And my grandmother was so mad because the older boys didn't get in trouble too. So right. That's pretty much it, but. But well, mama would be mad because she was worried about us eating them. She said they're poisonous. Don't eat them. Yeah. yeah. Grandma, you can even talk about poke berries with them. Grandma getting mad. <laughs> but they say you can eat the leaves, make poke salad, but I don't know. I've never tried to make poke salad. Well, poke salad, yeah, the poke salad is when it's fresh, when it's young, it grows um, up into the big stalk and turns, does off the berries. But when they're young and just coming up is when you want to pick the leaves and, and you cook them like you would spinach or stuff. So, mm hmm. Somebody really loved these old uh, charm bracelets. They did. Yeah, yeah, I was showing you that when it had a knife and a spoon and um, a bell and it even had a ladder that was articulated. You can open the ladder. That's Let's cool. Go. Those but here's different. another one too. This one has a totem. It has the totem, like the Native American totem. It has an arrowhead. It has a turtle. Cool. And it has turtle, a drum. Turtle. <laughs> has a drum on there too. But these are all like some kind of base metal type stuff. My hands smell like ugh. smell like metal. Oh, this is cool. Here's another one that's a charm bracelet, but it's got those, you know, when you shift them and the picture changes, it's got a girl praying, and then when you move it, it says, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Ten commandments. And then this one is a little boy and a little girl praying, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Yeah. The ten commandments. That is so cool. Watch. Let's see if I can let you see them. See how you'll see her. You'll see her. That's awesome. Holographic. I really love that. Yeah. That I like one, yeah, that. I probably can sell that one for sure. The coolest girl in church. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Passel, no chain. Dirty oh, and that would be really pretty on a chain. Mm-hmm. Get a bright, shiny gold chain like that. That would be pretty. Yeah, oh, a purse have... chain. It would be cool as a purse chain, too. Oh, this would. Or key chain. Yeah. 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 For all of that. That's just parts left different. in here. Just a lot of single earrings, really. All the single earrings. <laughs> right. All the yeah, I know. <laughs> There's that. And. There's that one. And I think I'm done with this one. I want to go to the next one. It's bigger than that one was. Yeah, all the earrings do not match. Oh, yeah. I bet you some of the earrings in the other jars. It's another thing. It doesn't make Bro sense. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Carla, for getting rid of that person. Oh, my God. Really? That's the name you came yeah. up with? <laughs> That's the name. <laughs> That's the name you came up with, and you thought you are going to be able to sneak in a sentence when you get in. <laughs> no, they just thought they were incognito over there. <laughs> yeah, like how are you gonna troll somebody with that name? <laughs> oh, God. the lack of imagination, right? Just like yeah, nothing like the decoration in U.S. always more bigger where you live. <laughs> Francis said she was trying to delete them. I have been neglecting the chat, guys. I'm sorry. I haven't been reading. I've been so into this. I've been dying to get into these jars. I've had them for a few days. It's unlike right, 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 Carol. Like, look at the lack of imagination. Is that's that's your username? Like, how long do you think you're gonna last? How right. many? Well, think about it. How many places is is that person gonna go that they're not gonna get put out? I know. 
<laughs> I think they made that step up real quick. That's probably some alternative. There's another one. Like five or six different ones. There's another one. His name is Kid Butthole. Like, Kid really? Butthole. There you go. <laughs> like, you need to think of, no. Bianca, there are contests here for Christmas decorations. No. Bianca is, in, where is Bianca again? Germany. Germany, I believe, yeah. Germany. So, Bianca, I'm trying to think, is, is Germany the country that does the book? The book on New Year's Eve, the book on Christmas Eve, where everybody gets a book. For her sister. She's so Oh funny. my God. That's me. I love you. <laughs> this is wooden, but it has some cool little decorations on it. Oh, Lord. Uh, Dia was trying to whack them, but she didn't have a wrench. <laughs> we must be popular because usually I don't get this many trolls. If at all any, usually I don't really get that many. Germany. So is it? No, yeah. you don't get like a bunch of kids sitting around, right? They have nothing to do. Let's watch some jewelry ladies and troll them. <laughs> they saw me in the Care Bear suit. They had to attack. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the most time we have it snowed in is more in the south. These are interesting. These look like, hmm, huh. they almost look like they should have been native, but I don't know with these ear wires. They could be, I think those are some kind of stones, maybe coral and maybe something else, whatever that black stone is. Look, if you're a lurker and you're a troll, you can hit the thumbs up as well. So if mm -hmm. watching and play five thumbs up. We need more. Or a thumbs down, whatever. <laughs> whatever makes you yeah. happy. <clears throat> Little girl jewelry here. What's this one? Looks like a clover. Bianca's asking you what book, Cindy. What are you talking uh, about? I'm, I'm topping. I'm topping. Uh -oh. wow. I'm going to knock that over. <laughs> that's when it's gonna freeze on me when I jumped with my mouth wide open. That's the picture that's gonna be on the video. That one's really pretty. That clover with all that work on. We have we have uh, foot fetish Fridays in the foot, foot fetish foot fetish Fridays. That one actually has a picture. <laughs> yeah, they probably somebody's picture they took off the internet. Yeah, it looks it looks like that kind of thing. L B B Y R. Anything about that? Let's see if it's magnetic. Oh Lord. But yeah, you realize yes, it's not not magnetic, it's they have two subscribers. <laughs> Foot Fetish Friday has two subscribers. I'm uh, actually interested in that. You realize that we're going to see that a lot for the next two weeks while kids are out of school. So. Oh, yeah, it's going to get worse. Mm -hmm. Okay, YouTube likes movement. That shows movement. Sorry, it's true. Right. It don't bother me as long as we get them and they're not disturbing anybody else. I've uh, heard it all probably. So. You know people that actually befriend the trolls and it's like, oh, sure, they're having conversation yeah. with the troll. <laughs> what, what is four degrees Celsius equal in Fahrenheit? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know my conversion on that. <laughs> is that that sounds cold to me, so I don't know. Yeah, this is, is it Napier. Ooh. Let me turn it around. Napier. Newer Napier piece. Newer Napier. But is Miss No, coin. I think those are just cut out. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think they're just cut out there. Like okay. that. They got stones here, but not here. And then they have one in the middle. But yeah, that new the tag like this, that's the newer Napier stuff. After Miss Claiborne took it over. 
<laughs> that would be 40. Oops. Okay, Bianca. I mean, yeah, not. honestly. Oh, oh no. <laughs> jewelry nurse says that jewelry nurse says she thinks we could shock them with minimal <laughs> effort. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I know Babs. We can talk about old lady things. That'd run away. <laughs> this is cool. It's got dyed shell and, and wood and colorful seed beads on it. I just remembered that I hadn't taken my medicine. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's pretty. That's why I'm wandering around. This one I'll deconstruct it for those glass beads. That are on it. That's pretty. Did you go to oh, McDonald's? Hmm. Cindy went to McDonald's. Oh yeah, I drink. Mm -hmm. I drink um, a McDonald's unsweet tea every day. So <laughs> I went to no, caffeine at home, so tea. I have to go to McDonald's to get regular tea, so I can get caffeine. You do. I had like one glass of tea, but I got mine from. Uh, Zaxby's. These have cool beads. It's loose too, so I would deconstruct it for the beads. Uh, Some adults. Uh, she's talking about her daughter didn't know she could have Sundays except for on Sunday. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. I started adding back in uh, one tea bag that's got caffeine in it because if I don't have no caffeine, I get headaches. So. Right. Yeah. And I don't like for my head to hurt because then I whine and nobody gives <laughs> me whine. You can have like chai tea, like a cup of chai tea for your caffeine. I know Tyrone likes chai tea. I that do too. Hell. Unless it's got too much licorice in it. Uh, oh, you don't know, like the that star anise yeah. flavor or whatever? Yeah, that star anise tastes like licorice. So Yes, it does. <laughs> yes. I use it in this little tea concoction that I make that like gets me over a cold or it makes me feel better when I'm sick. Mardi Gras beans. Oh, you still haven't sent me any of your recipes. Yeah, I know. You gotta stay on me. You have to remind me. That's how I am. I forget stuff a lot. This is Liz Claiborne. And it has what looks like banded agate and cat's eye. Yeah. Unless that's just swirled glass, but right here on these, but you can see the kind of the swirling or the banding in there. Yeah. Ainsley, I try not to drink too much caffeine, so, but I have to have a little bit to help my head not hurt. <laughs> Did we lose Grumpy? No, I think she just turned off her camera for a second and muted herself. Oh, okay. Let me see. I got something, maybe a, no. What is matcha chiffon cake. Oh, I can't have cake. It's got sugar in it and flour. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> that sounds Although, good. Fun, cake. I don't know what it is, but cake sounds real good. Although I'm not doing real good on my low carbon right now. I had half a whoopie pie today. Kitty cat bead. Oh, uh, that's cute. Kitty, kitty, kitty here, kitty. <laughs> that's like, I, is that how everybody calls cats? Because that's how I call cats. Kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> yeah. My son's cat actually let me pull his tail this morning. He loves for you to rub your hand down his back and pull his tail. But mm -hmm. uh, they want to know what is that between your windows? Here? This? Yeah. I, I find these things sometimes in jewelry jars and stuff too. This was in a jewelry jar. It's a wind chime with a, it's got the little crystals and it's a hummingbird. And then that thing right here is a cross with uh, crystals, Aurora Borealis and stuff in it. And that's a tree of life, and it's made out of little stone chips. Dude, that's so great. I, I just hang this kind of stuff just on that little cross because it's got a suction cup. 
Yet. No, she's talking about on the wall. Where, where? Talking about, she's talking about that shadow up there. Is that a shadow? There you go. It's made out of seashells. I got it in Destin, Florida. We were in Destin. Kind of looks like a dream catcher, but it's made out of seashells. And that's a, that's an ornament. It's a star. I can't reach that one. <laughs> I was gonna hit it so that you could turn it and they could see it, but I can't reach it. Ooh, yeah, that's a, a little. I guess something you put on kind of like wind chimes, you would put them outside on the porch or something. But this is my sun room, which I divided into like a dining and living room kind of area. It's a very large room. And then I have a formal living room in there. I just come down here because it's easier um, to do my video. Do you here. seriously like Shale's mother's mustache? I do not like shells. I throw them in my bead box. All I like the certain shell pieces. I'm sure it's only like the one hand uh, and topping with the other. Oh, jewelry nurse, do you bake a lot during the holiday? See, I use until we started doing keto. I used to make fudge every year, and and I'm I really wanting. Really want to make some fudge. Yeah, my white chocolate peppermint cookies. I use the soft peppermint sticks and I crunch them up and then I put white chocolate uh, morsels in there. And I do it in a sugar cookie recipe and it's just like they're my favorite cookies and we make them for Santa and I give them as gifts and stuff too. Those are pretty. Yeah, it magically disappears at night. <laughs> I get to eat them. <laughs> I shouldn't say that though. I don't know if anybody, I don't know if my son would come over here and watch it. Sometimes he pops down here. I should have said that. Anyway. I'm sure he I'm sure he's at the point where he just pretends for me anyway. What what show is this? Oh, this is oh. the best. The best. I see a dog. The best. What's it called? It's got something written on it. Secret Life of Pets. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's got this really scary fat cat on it. <laughs> this little poodle that's like puffed up. Yeah. So this this will go in that little girl's jewelry jar. Is that, that poodle? That's not a poodle. Yeah, there's a poodle right, and there's a bunny rabbit too. There's a poodle right here. No, that's a white Pomeranian. Oh, it's a Pomeranian? Oh, okay. That's why it's super puffy like that. Why do I know that? Because you have one. <laughs> no, because I watched a movie. <laughs> do you like animated movies? Well, I like some, you know, but not all. Yes, I'm one of those grown-ups who don't grow up. That's okay. My mom loved Disney, like forever loved Disney. So most of the movies that that we watch animated Disney movies. The Christmas movies that I like to watch are animated. My right. favorite is How the Grinch Stole Christmas with me, Jim Carrey. But <laughs> I was I too. Things. As long as I pretended that Santa was real, I got Santa. <laughs> That's all I had to do. <laughs> My kids never did. Santa never liked Santa. So oh. Santa didn't. Santa didn't leave gifts at our house. So. It was just all from you? Yep. <laughs> well, listen, my, my their grandparents and their aunts and uncles bought them so much stuff that we made a rule at our house that <clears throat> baby Jesus only got three gifts and you ain't no better than baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be the case with mine, too, when they were real young. They would get so much stuff from their family members that we would have sometimes have to take two trips to take it all home and well, uh, then they yeah. would get stuff from us too and i don't go overboard either i'm not one of those uh parents that stuff the tree all the way around I don't we do still that. Do, my son is 25 now and we still just do the three gifts so 
but uh <clears throat> but we only do three gifts for us too so that out. I, think, I think that sounds fair i'm like look i found another one that's pretty i like that blue i'm gonna send this one to you then you can put your loop on it that's what okay. i do with mine i put my loop on it Okie dokie, I've got an extra loop that needs something on it, needs put on something. That's how, I, like, sometimes when I'm thrifting or uh, the state sales, I'll have it on my neck. I've lost my favorite loop. I'm going to have to dig through purses. It was in a purse, and I change purses like twice a week. So, Barb, what's the your favorite kind of jewelry to wear? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm a necklace, but I like rings and necklaces and bracelet i like everything what's right? your style as far as jewelry big rings big bracelets and dinky little necklaces okay <laughs> i'm I trying to figure out something i can send to you too i just my, didn't know what your fashion the necklaces are all going to be very delicate and very thin and she likes rings rings and and do you like the native american style huh you like the Native American or Southwestern jewelry? Um, or do you like more I pretty, pretty but like delicate? I'm going through phases. It's also it all depends. I like everything. <laughs> okay, well I'll but, just send something that's delicate and we'll see if you like it. Okay, but my issue is I, I don't want people, I love you guys, don't send me anything because I'm allergic. If it's not silver or gold, I can't wear it, and then I feel bad. I'll send you something, Sterling. Like, um, so I got this from Cindy, and the only reason I can wear it because it's like plastic. Let's see. Right here, I have to like put uh, either um somebody to put nail polish. Nail polish. Mm -hmm. So it's like I feel bad when people send me stuff. I'll send you something, Sterling, then. That way you can wear it. Now I know why. Now I know why Barb always has Sterling to sell because that's what she buys. <laughs> right. Yeah. You can buy anything. I that bought a lot of stuff. So, quite a bit. Oops. That's Sarah Coventry. It's got the little diamond shaped tag on Ooh, it. That's pretty. Is it? Are they roses? Are the beads they, roses? They're like some weird swirly type. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, you saying Sarah Coventry? I still gotta make that video for my friend. What's my favorite color for what? What's your favorite? This is another trick question. What is your favorite color? Like yeah, in general for what? For you know, anything? Another, for what? Do you not have a favorite color? White. Like, do you prefer like in anything, clothing or? House decoration would be dark colors, you know what I mean. Uh, for decor, would be pastels, and you know, I don't know. I don't so, know. It, it changes depending on what it is that you're, yes. Sorry. See, now, Barb, I would have never ever pegged you, I would have never pegged Barb for pastels at all. I wouldn't have thought either. <laughs> well, this is uh, made out of mother of pearl and uh, and shell. Yeah, mother pearl shell. Yeah. I gotta figure out my phone. Nothing super exciting. That's what I figured, though. I didn't think that these would have. Well, I ha I did uh, get a little bit of sterling out of those other ones. I did get that adventuring necklace, so I'm happy all together. But the adventuring necklace was worth it all. Oh yeah. These are made I out of what color I don't stuff. like. What color do you not like? I don't like red. I don't like the stop sign red. Okay. I don't like that red. That I don't like. And I don't oh like. Oh my gosh, Barb! How I, can you not like red? Red is like one of my favorite colors. So, uh, and with I your like dark hair, burgundy red. I like burgundy red, but I don't like I the do. stop sign red. Yeah, I like any color red. I, there's not a red that I've ever met. But see, with your dark hair, I think red would be a good color for you. So mm -hmm. This was one of those eyeglass things. But I could do with, like, what you did with it and put a clasp on it. Because these yeah, are glass. Probably the loop. Those are also good for the loop. 
for the loop. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could convert it for a loop to go on there too. It already um, has hooks on it. It's got those little things that go on your glasses. But yeah, if we take those off, you could do that. I, uh, or just put it on one end of it or something, I guess. I put that in somebody's thing that I sent them. Oh, I think that went to Louise, that one that I redone that day. When we mm -hmm. That was a neat idea to take take those ends off and turn it into a necklace. Well, that one was a... I never seen one of those that was triple strand, though. That was a yeah, me either. Eyeglass holder that was triple strand. Very large antique mall and red bank. Why I know the uh, we can't wear anything. There's Ooh, that. I like that. That's yeah. pretty. You know, that's it's an odd, vintage, but it's cute. It's got a vintage look. That's an odd combination of color, though. It really is, yeah. And those stones are red. You see the red. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That deep red with that turquoise blue, that is an odd combination. Mm -hmm. There's some more pretty beads. See, I'll deconstruct this one. For oh, that deep glass red. Beads right here. Those are glass little beads. It's one of those wiry things that get tangled on everything. I hate those things. Yes, these are the worst. They're evil. They are evil. evil. I I just mean, made by Zad. Y'all ever seen that tag before? Zad? That, that, yes, I find Zad quite often. And Zad, I believe, is equal to about a Claire's tag. Oh, is it? I didn't know where it come from. I'd never seen it until I started finding it in jars. I'm not positive. I've not done real. But everything that I found by them is not high quality. So... Why did they ever become popular, Ainsley? <clears throat> That's a good question. It's a cherry I guess bear. because they're cheap and easy to make, the the wire necklaces. Mm-hmm. Well, I know at one point, like, what, early 2000, those illusion, that's what they called them, illusion necklaces. It was like the wire, but then it had like like this, and it had the crystal. So you didn't see the wire; you just saw like it had the illusion that the stones were floating, and that was popular there for a minute. But I don't know; it, they are a headache. And certain type chains, I can't stand to wear certain type chains because it gets caught in my hair and rips my hair out. Oh. Yeah, so Links of London have these bracelets, right? They are silver and they silver rings in a row and it costs like an arm and a leg. And mm -hmm. I have one and you put it on and the hair is caught in them. It and rips the hair on your arm. arm. <laughs> That's what those chains do. Like, I bet you this was designed by a man. Probably. <laughs> Will you cut the beads off of those, April? Um, I, I do take the beads off of these. I just use the beads because they're glass beads. They look glass. And that was the end of it. So, like I said, nothing too exciting in those jars. It was amazing. Those two two other jars, the one smaller one, even had nicer things than. Right, Barbara, you agree? When men design jewelry, it's not the same when women design the jewelry. Right? Right, because a woman's going to think about those kind yeah. of things. Yeah. See, I I don't think much about necklaces pulling my hair because my hair is never long enough to touch the necklace. <laughs> so. my, 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 my hairline in the back grows kind of downwards yeah. right there. So, yeah, it'll, it'll reach. It'll start pulling that right there. Uh. I have had some things that got caught, and I'm like over here like, eh, eh. Get it out of my hair. So the last thing I had to show was that book that I was telling you about last night, Cindy. These were magazines that I think they started these in the 30s or the 40s, but they're called Arizona Highways. And then they would do different editions, but they did a lot of editions on Native American stuff. And this one's called the Turquoise Blue Book. 
It shows Indian jewelry. It says it's an Indian jewelry digest from Arizona Highways Collector Series. And for me, from what I've looked at through this book, this is a beautiful, and this was made in 1975. Ooh. But these have some beautiful pictures, like if you're into reselling or collecting the uh, Native American jewelry. This one has a lot of beautiful stuff and a lot of information in here, too. The and the names of the artists. Hmm? I was asking, what was your favorite item from tonight? Um, favorite item from tonight was probably that 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 necklace here, maybe. Either that or the adventuring one, I guess. So she's oh. also asking the people in the chat. People in chat, I answered that question. Oh, yeah. Uh. So yeah, so this one. Let's see, but there's artist names in here too. We'll oh, talk cool. about certain Native American artists. So that way, you know, if you come across a piece that's signed, you might be able to find out more information about it because of this. So I'm I'm loving this. And there was a couple other ones, like I said, from the same one that um uh, about that from the same one that had more things like the pottery. Because I have some pottery too. I can actually go grab that and show it in just a second. But I have some Native American pottery as well. So I'm interested in the pottery magazine. Hey, cherry berry. Oh, look at that. Look at those. Uh, those are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Splash blossoms. Mm -hmm. I don't, cherry berry, I don't know if you know this or not, but April and Casey are starting up a. Uh, a uh, glitterati thing that is very similar to what Redbird Vintage does. Very, very similar to its its boxes. So you need to yeah. talk to April about that. So right. I'm just sure. email me at Bougie Bear Vintage at Outlook and I will make sure Casey sends you uh, one of our invites yeah, our questionnaire. Bye. Uh, bye, Barb. Thanks for joining us. Bye, Barb. See, there's some fetish necklaces too shown in the background. And I have a couple of those. That starts up after the first of the year, doesn't it, April? Yes. Um, I'm going to have them available in January. I'm hoping to start it um, in January. And they'll be available in our stores so that you can buy them. And you're not tied into anything monthly. Um, if you purchase the first time you purchase a box, you'll receive a membership card, which will allow you to join our Facebook group, which is private only to members. We'll do exclusive videos just for that page, probably like Facebook, uh, Facebook live videos and stuff. And we'll share more in depth information about jewelry and what we find and you know, when we travel, cause you know, we're going to travel more when it's warm than in the winter time. So I'm going to, Try to get other places in the hey, um, summer and spring. Cherry, I will give them your email address so they can send you. They have a form so that you can fill out and tell what you like, what kind of vintage things you like, and uh, uh, and then you will go on to April's uh, Etsy shop to purchase to actually purchase it. So right, anyway. yeah, and you can purchase them. I think we're gonna do in both. He. He'll have them available. I'll have them available. Either which one, it won't matter because it's a joint venture. But uh, and we split all the proceeds and everything. But yeah, and it, so part of the benefit is to, you know, get help with identifying your pieces, um, exclusive information about learning more about jewelry if you're a collector and or reseller. And the value of it itself is, you know, it's going to be worth a lot more than, you know, what you're actually paying for it, too. So if you're wanting just to buy it, to resell it, my suggestion would be to buy it, keep the pieces you like, sell the other ones just to cover the cost of it. That's how I would do it. That's how I do things. But Cherry <laughs> Berry wants to keep it all. So she wants to keep it all. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Um, and that's pretty much we're going to do what once a month, too, once you're a member. Um, we're going to do what we call the the glitterati gala or whatever. And the gala is just a giveaway once a month. We'll do that live too. We'll do a drawing, draw a name. So this will start in January, Barbara. And um, 
what else did I need to say about it? Uh, yeah, so just fill out the questionnaire so that we know because there's the option for five pieces or the option for three pieces and five pieces would be more geared towards being more selective about what you wanted to. We would put yes. more time into, like selecting the pieces that you specifically want. Sherry Berry wants to know, are there different size boxes? Yes. Three and five piece boxes and they'll be priced differently. I'm trying to get the prices down exactly because I'm trying to think roughly what it'll cost me to source the pieces and then, you know, you see what, what I'm asking you? Are, you? are you the lady in Noonan trying to find the army vet to return his ring? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have an army vet ring, I don't think. Uh, obviously, somebody in Noonan is advertising that they need to return an army vet ring. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. Do you live in Alabama, Mother's Mustache? I mean, Georgia, not Alabama. She must, yeah. Oh. Uh, she might live in Alabama, Alabama or Georgia. So, anyway. Cherry Berry, yes, the boxes are only jewelry. Hey, Cherry Berry, I, when I looked at your, uh, I looked at your Instagram. I saw something on there that made me think about something I'm going to send you. So, next time, next time I have to send you something, I have some uh, vintage hankies that came from my mother-in-law's, and. Mm -hmm. uh, Anyway, so when I saw Cherry Berry's thing, I was like, uh, I think she would appreciate that vintage hanky. So. <laughs> I just love the picture. Hey, cool. I went on to see. Oh, it was on the news. Okay, Mother's Mustache. I went on that site to see if I could find that book or anything that might look helpful. Uh, stop giving things. Um. Uh, why can't I give things that I love to give people things? <laughs> so anyway, you so, went to you went looking for this one. Well, I just went on that site to see if they had like any kind of free catalogs or any kind of catalogs or not, and they really didn't. And they don't have a whole lot of jewelry. For them, four dollars and fifty cents is how much they used to be. He found this one at an antique store for me for ten dollars. But now when I looked them up, there was an Etsy seller and an eBay seller that had different ones. Look on this one I yeah, I would. I bought I bought another book on eBay just the other night. And the reason I bought it was because it was mentioned in this book. And so I bought it and I found it for like $5. And it's about, it's an artist or something. But let me go get my pottery and I'll show you my thing. She just walked off and left me holding it, didn't she? Huh? I'm here by myself. She can hear me. She hears me yak yakking. So, oh. Anyway, stop giving things away. I love to give things away. That's one of my love languages. I keep telling y'all that. So, anyway. And I got my Indian doll guy here, too, that Tyrone bought me. Oh, you know what? We have some Indian th stuff in our, uh, not not native, but just what I call tourist Indian stuff. Uh, yeah, I think this is just from a collector doll set, but I added some things. Like, I added the necklace. This belonged to my mom. It's like a little knife and a leather pouch thing oh that's I added, cool. I added some decoration to him but yeah Tyrone bought him for me so he sits over there he's got a little bear on his head Man. hey tiki shante love lang giving is one of your love languages too <laughs> he is very beautiful so. and this one is called is the wedding vase that's what this one is and it even had the paper still attached to it with the little story of the wedding vase so they would both drink from one side of this and i was still that's how much i paid for it 292 <laughs> but this one is this one's worth a good bit it's got a little scuff there but this one is a nice piece of pottery and i looked it up and i forget um who made it now, this one was sold, apparently, in the 
Mole Ocket Antiques because it has the sticker from there, but it does have the signature of the artist on the bottom, which was, I think that's Isabella. And so her it was a it's a female Native American artist that made this. Eastern European have that too in brass or silver wedding cup. Okay, cool. Yeah, it says here wedding vases were widely used by many Indian tribes in America. Many believe that as part of the ancient marriage ceremony, the medicine man would prepare a special potion for the young lovers. The mixture signified the promise of deep love and eternal happiness for the couple. The brave and maiden then sealed the promise by drinking the potion simultaneously from the vase, each using one spout. Wedding vases thus became a symbol of happiness and remain so to this day. And kind this of like a Cedar Mesa product. Kind of like uh, our uh, drinking the champagne from the glasses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, we intertwine our arms and all that kind of thing um but yeah that is what i wanted to show so any of the people that have questions about native american jewelry or they collect it and they want to know more if that kind of stuff gets you excited like it does me i, I recommend finding you know especially this one if not some of the other ones by the arizona highway magazine okay well, I just ordered that. You found one. Did you find one that had like, there was one seller that had multiple different ones and a lot together. Uh, I just ordered, does yours have the, the buffalo head on it? What does yours have on the front of it? Yes, that's the one I ordered. Yeah. Uh, I, I paid five. Blue book. Yeah, I paid five forty nine for it and then five fifty shipping, so it's ten nine. Not bad. So you paid pretty much what I paid, ten bucks. Huh? What? If you drop one drip, you'll have bad luck. Use it at the same time and finish all the wine. Huh. <laughs> so, well, I didn't have I didn't have a wedding or a well, I had a wedding, but I didn't have a reception or anything like that. David and I eloped. We actually got married at a quarter to midnight by the county judge, and we did not we did not decide we were getting married that night until ten o'clock. And this is where I learned you do not tell people who live in podunk towns if you can find a marriage license at this time of the night, we'll get married. Yeah, <laughs> he told me we had a wedding date set and everything. He said, "Let's." We were getting married in March, and on November the fourth. At 10, 10 30 that night, he said, Let's get married. And I said, We are in March. And he said, No, let's get married tonight. And I said, If you can find somebody that can get us a uh, marriage license tonight, we'll get married. And he made one phone call and we got a marriage license. And we got married by the county judge. I had to be at work at seven o'clock the next morning. <laughs> so. <laughs> Not much honeymooning, but anyway, so. Well, I was, I was um, almost nine months pregnant when I got married to my kid's father and with my daughter, my middle child. And we had a small church, church wedding with a little quick reception afterwards at like a, um, like a buffet place. <laughs> and so it was pretty much like everybody, you know, paid for their own buffet meal or whatever. And then we had a wedding cake that we brought with us so we had wedding showers but we didn't do any kind of reception so we kept yeah. putting it off to be able to afford a bigger wedding but then i got pregnant and we kind of felt like maybe i should we should get married you know to, so his family didn't feel weird about it you know because my first son wasn't biologically you know his so i mean that's why that one didn't count as far as getting married first so i don't know anyway. that's the way we did it uh we uh, uh now on our 25th anniversary the uh church where we were on staff at threw us a huge party and we had a big party and all of uh our friends come they're asking you to show them that pot again the small pot again mm -hmm. this one mm 
Yeah, her name was Isabella something. I had to. I'll have to look it back up again. But I did see pieces done like this are can be worth good money. This is on the smaller side, but the bigger pieces in this black. It's always like a shiny black, and then you have that matte, and they always have that kind of design around the top. I forget the the tribe too that it is. This one would be probably more of a piece that you would buy maybe mm -hmm. like it maybe like out in the southwest or something but wouldn't necessarily have been something i don't know how the, this one i don't think is as important and if it was i think this is this one's more important i think i don't know how to say that but i just don't think this one is as special as this one is. <laughs> Will you stay right there for just a minute Oh, Ansley, you've seen this one in one of your books before. Yeah, blackware. That's right. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, is. thanks, Ansley. Oh, I found what I've been looking for. I'm going to get the other one that shows the pottery pieces, too. That way I'll have that as a reference. I really love my books. I find what I can online, but I really like having the books to look at stuff. Well, I don't see it. I don't see what I'm looking for, April. Was it jewelry? No. Oh, okay. It's it's uh it's potter Indian pottery. Was it like really small? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I I may have put it in another thing, but that finding that I found I found some stuff that I forgot I had. That's my life story: finding things I forget I had. I oh, yeah, it happens to me too. <laughs> that's the wrong one. I found a, a Monet box and I found some rhinestones that I forgot I had. Cool. I'll show you the Monet box. There should be two of them. There should be another one somewhere floating around here. Who knows? I just have too much oh, stuff. Cool. I got it, Ansley. Thank you for sending it to me. This one shows uh, Sam. Il Dafonso, highly polished red and black ware with matte design, became popular in 1920. Carved ware was was begun in the early 1930s. Pottery from Santa Clara and San Il Dafonso, or Ye Dafonso, I'm not sure. Pueblos. Yeah, okay, so this is Pueblo. And I think it did say the San... I guess you would say it like a Y, like you do with the Spanish words, Yedafen so. Not sure, but yeah, that's that would be where this one came from. She shared that on Instagram. Picture that she took for a wool. That's neat. Thank you, Ansley. Monet box. Ah, and it's got a Christmas tree brooch. <laughs> There's supposed to be another one. I brought. Bought two of them the other day. I was sitting here thinking, you know what? I don't know what I done with those Monet boxes that had those Christmas tree brooches in it. I bought them at, uh, and uh, I found rhinestones. Yay. I know y'all can't believe I found rhinestones. So did, are you getting cold, April? No, I just wanted to look at the bear head. <laughs> See? Rhinestone. I'm weirdo. They're Ooh, heavy. pretty, pretty. That's but a nice, heavy, chunky piece. Rhinestones. <gasps> Butterfly. Is Butterfly. that a sign? Yeah, it's sign. <laughs> MJ Enterprises. Oh, I've seen that before. So, anyway. I think. Huh. 
a ring. I don't know if it's Sterling or I don't think it's Sterling. No. We're gonna start calling you Cindy loses jewelry. <laughs> that sounds like a good name for me. Cindy loses jewelry. I, uh, actually, you're laughing, but I think it sounds like a real good name. <laughs> oh, that's a no. That's not the set. These these are some pieces. I don't know why they're stuck in here. Is what's funny. I don't know what what they are. Some big old rhinestones. I don't know what they are. Who knows? Me and my junky ways. I just keep all kinds of things. So, hey. I I've, do. Been, I've been looking for the match to this. Now that Miss Darlene doesn't want any more jewelry components because I've I've overwhelmed her with jewelry, broken jewelry. Now I've got to be more diligent about breaking it down and use you know selling it for craft and stuff because I was just taking it over there to her before, but she can't yeah. take it anymore. Well, this this all here I can just dump in my in my dumping thing back here, but I gotta find that other Monet brooch. So, so anyway, uh, right. Well, okay. before we go, okay. if anybody oh. wants to advertise in the chat and let us know what y'all have going on, then go ahead. Yeah, um, tell us, yeah. tell us. We need to know. Yeah. Uh, let us know if we're missing anything. That one's a old. Um, yeah, that's pretty. They're glass beads. Yeah, they're glass. They're AB. And it's real. That one have a clasp. It looks almost like it doesn't. Like it goes all the way around. Um, it, it had a clasp right here. See, right here in the middle, you can see these two metal things. Mm -hmm. it's, supposed to be, it's supposed to be a really short go around your neck. Okay, got, gotcha. I didn't know it was double stranded. I thought it was just one longer. Well, see, that's what I, I would wear it like. It's just one long. But mm -hmm. you need something that would hang over that metal for the front at least. I'm sure I can find some. Put a brooch over it. Make yep. it like a pendant there. Well, I've got a bunch of these great big. And on the back, I mean, honestly, you could just take both of them off and restring the whole thing. Look. Look at that cross. Isn't that cross pretty? That is pretty too. But he doesn't have any way to be hung. His little his little back broke. Oh. <laughs> He's a broken back cross. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, I got too much stuff. I don't know what I done with those pieces. I have. Ansley said that you know some people charge an awful lot for reference books, but that she finds the biggest booksellers do not. Yeah, yeah, I know. When you're going to look for a book, especially about jewelry and collectibles, they can get really expensive. Mm. And Cindy Jewelry Nurse says she has auction at fri on Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Her and Vicki Porter. Okay. Cool. I'll come cool. check. 3 p.m. Eastern Time. <clears throat> that that's 2 p.m. Central, right? Uh, yes. If that's Eastern, yes. Mm-hmm. And Tiki Shante said she's making a video on video on mukite. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. That's a what is mukite, Tiki? What is mukite? Tell us, tell us. We don't know what mm -hmm. it is. I'll be right back. I'm gonna set this over there before I end up knocking it off and crying. What is it? I don't know what it is. I don't like not knowing what it is. Sterling and gold doesn't get. Do they get verdigree on them? Sterling doesn't and gold doesn't. No, I've never seen that on either one of those. Now, the plated can. It's a jasper. Plated. Yeah. Huh. She says it's a jasper. <laughs> okay. Well, I like to learn more about stones. I love stones. Yeah. I've got to start doing the the. Mystery. Here's that medicine bag I was telling you about. Oh, that's cool. We watch, we watch. You know, we watch a lot of westerns. We were watching Daniel Boone the other day, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Israel and the Indian chief's son was making medicine. 
they were making medicine, mm. stirring it at the at the peace tree. So, well, that's not. And anything. Cindy should go take a vision quest. You want to go? Take a vision <laughs> quest. Yeah. I'm not sure um, what the vision quest is. That's when you smoke the peyote and and. No, I don't want to smoke nothing. <laughs> There's a jade Buddha that I had in here. Yeah. And then I put like little stones and stuff in there. So I've got this stone in there. Well, that's pretty. This one has like a spot where it seems like somebody kind of used it like a worry stone. I'm this looking stone, forward to it too, Tiki. Big piece of amethyst in that bag. Right now I'm gonna go I'm gonna go subscribe to Tiki Shante's channel. Yes, I think I am subscribed, but let me double check, make sure. I'm fixing to have to. Uh, yeah, I'm subscribed. Come on. Well, my computer is slow to not, like super slow. And this I've oh, had yeah. that I got from my mother. That I, I am now. She got right. from somewhere. She got from somewhere else. So this is really old. It is set in sterling, and it's a piece of turquoise. And I've had this, you know, ever since she passed mm -hmm. it down to me. So I know it's older than I am. Put it on a sterling silver chain. Yeah, I know. I, I just, I don't know. I just like keeping it. I'm scared. I don't want nothing to happen to it. But I've had that for a really long time. And then, of course, when I find arrowheads and stuff, I put I put them in here too. This one's an agate bear. I put it in there. But actually on our property, one of these, this one I've had for a long time. I found this one really long time ago, Arrowhead. But this one I found on our property. I know just looking at it, you wouldn't like really, really think that it is. But then if you get close up on it, it's got those jagged nicks in the side. So I know that it is. Yeah. And this is the tool. I've had this for a long time, too. This is the tool that they used to, like, you can see where they put their thumb right there. They use this to actually make, like, arrowheads and chip away at the stone with that. That's what that is. Now, I mean, in Arkansas. That's what I keep in my little bag. <laughs> in Arkansas, it's illegal to hunt arrowheads. But people do it, but it is illegal. If you get caught, that you can get fined. But I don't know if it's illegal here. I know it's something people in my family have always done. And then I was just out there, like right here at my back deck. I was, um, ooh, I pulled that too far. I was moving some stones around. I think when I had chickens at one point, and I was putting, I was underpinning the deck and keeping my chickens under there if we had to go out of town or something. I would keep them pinned under the porch there for somebody to come and take care of instead of them because I was free ranging them. And uh, I was putting that fencing up, I think is when I found it, but it was right there at my back deck. Oh, that's cool. I was like, yay, that's cool. So that means they've been here at some point or another. <laughs> but um, thanks, Barbara. Yeah, no, I, I, I have a bag over there too that um, used to be my mom's that she's had for she had had for like a really long time. I'm sure it's like seventies. It looks seventies. Yeah. Were your neighbors in love with your rooster? No, my neighbors didn't like my rooster. I had to get rid of my rooster because um, they called they called the uh, I guess the police or whatever or somebody the city or something and the guy came out and said it was it was a a noise nuisance it was the no, noise ordinance thing it was violating the noise ordinance but i had to have him to protect my hens and so when i got rid of my two roosters um then all my hens started missing we have like really huge owls and we have hawks and stuff too and so they kept getting like plucked off one by one. They'd come up missing. My ducks even came up missing. And so I had like one left and the lady, the weird thing is the lady across the street, she doesn't like free range hers, but she does let them roam a little bit. But hers, 
I mean, she had, I think she said one of hers had been missing here or there, but like she didn't lose hers like I lost mine, but she does, she got to keep her rooster. It was the people behind us that complained. So I guess because her rooster was there, you know, it helped protect her hens. So the last hen I had, I let her, you know, put it with her flock. Oh, chickens are mean. They don't. What? Yeah, they they uh -huh. are, they don't accept other chickens very well. If they're oh no, yeah, they can be real mean dogs. when you bring in new ones. We used to have uh, Rhode Island Reds, and we got one of those Easter egg chickens and Aracana, and they were so mean to the Aracana that they would attack it, and it made the Aracana's beak set over where he couldn't eat normal. So. You had to hold up your hand like this and hold him. That Aracano was John's pet. Our our son that died, he was John's pet. And his name was Easter. Or her <laughs> name was Easter. She was a she. Her name was Easter. Anyway, but when it would get cold, all the little Rhode Island Reds, they would huddle up together. And they wouldn't let her huddle with them. And, and uh, the winter before we moved down southwest Arkansas, it got cold enough she froze to death. Um, anyway, John yeah. was and she was his baby so he would he would walk into the into the chicken uh coop because we we lived on uh some of my parents land we we had three and a half acres and we had um some uh we had some animals that lived in that they killed they killed two of my my first two chickens they killed one of them they pulled it through the fence and ate the legs and the head off of it and left the Oh, rest man. Of it. Yeah. Anyway. We found the, some feathers scattered and stuff, but I never found any. That was what was weird. I never found any, like, body parts or anything, just the feathers, like, where. Because I think it. that's why I think a lot of it had to be the owls or the hawks. Like, when they come down and they snatch them up. You know, feathers go everywhere, but I didn't find any bits and pieces. So it wasn't like a fox or, you know, or something like that attacking them. Ainsley, Ainsley, this is just my blue jean jacket. It's my short one. I've got actually have on a tank top under it. So, uh, but uh, I don't like to wear my tank top just on on screen unless it's the middle of the summer. But uh, it was warm enough to wear a tank top around the house today. So. <laughs> anyway, but I put my blue jean jacket on today. Oh, and I got Christmas pants. All um, right. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up and let everybody go. I know we've we've dwindled down a little bit. Maybe, I don't know if anybody else is live. I don't want to keep everybody right. over here. But we will say good night. And I guess this will be my official last one before Christmas. I don't think I have enough time to do it. What, what day is Christmas on? Monday? No, next Tuesday. Monday is Christmas yeah. Eve. So, yeah, this will be the last thing I do before Christmas because I won't do one on Christmas Day. I, I am so super swamped that day. <laughs> yeah. I won't have time. So, y'all oh, all have a Merry Christmas. Uh-oh, that's Siri. Y'all all have a Merry Christmas, and I appreciate you joining us tonight and sharing your information and talking and laughing and everything. And if you want to a good me, night. It was a good night, so... It was. Y'all have a great night. Thank you for joining us. Night, guys. Bye.